All right, I redid the tank again. This is number three. Um, I added a new seated um, sponge filter in here to help. Um, for some reason, this tank crashed. I don't know why. I needed another tank for my beta. Oh, there he is. You kind of see him. Sorry. This is that iPhone. It's doing better than my camera. I still can't figure out that camera. I may have to send it in as defective. Um, there he is, right there. It's not putting on much of a show. There's a little too much light in here. Um, put the 125 back in blackout. So um, this tank has 24 inch blaster on it right now. Um, I also got some uh, tissue cultures, and one of them I got was the uh, Telanthera cardinalis or the um, alternate. Alternanthera Renicki var variety of Cardinalis. Um, I guess they're the same and interchangeable. Anyway, I've got some planted down here and then I'm floating some. I'm only having marginal success with the uh, tissue cultures. That's why I haven't moved forward with uh, getting any in right now. Until I get better at growing them, I'm not going to sell them to other people. Um, until I can tell them, hey, this is what I finally did and had success with them. Some do great, some don't. Um, those right there, that is another uh, cheap PetMart, PetSmart um, tissue culture, and it's come in. That's the um, Alternanthera Renicki Red Temple plant. Um, I also have some in the 20 long. The stuff in the 20 long has stayed a lot shorter than this one. This was in my Planet 55 that just came out of the dark out, um, the blackout. I see I've got a little bit of hair algae in there still, I gotta go grab it, but it really did a good job. I used Dustin's Plant Buster and, or Booster and the, uh, a tarp over it for four days. Um, I also got some pygmy chainsaw. That is what its land le leaves look like. Um, and then that's that really short um, carpet plant that I have in the 55 in that corner. Um, so I was excited to find those. I got those as potted plants. Got those in here. And just kind of cleaned it up. Moved it around a little bit. Brought in some more jungle val. This isn't the red. Most of my red jungle val is that little short stuff back there. Um, that it, it got choked out by the duckweed. So we're building back right now. But anyway, this is my rose petal. Well, I'm gonna pan out and see if I can find him. There he is. This is my rose petal male betta. Rose petal. Bettas have twice as many fin rays as a regular betta. I think he's really pretty. Um, I'm going to shut out the blaster here in a little bit. I'm only going to run the blaster on this tank for about two, maybe three hours a day. The rest of the light will just be a little regular light. Um, that's all I've got to show for tonight. I'll show you my other bettas later. I did get a couple females, they're crown tails. Um, peace and love as always guys. I also forgot to tell you the white that's in here now that's crushed coral. Um, I added a couple big handfuls of the crushed coral in here. This tank did hit 6.2. I don't want to deal with that anymore. So I'm going to uh, see if I can keep it buffered up closer to 6.8 maybe 7. Um, the beta really doesn't need it but it's not going to hurt him either. And I'd like to get the Blue Dreams back in this tank. Um, Kashi is pretty. And they were not cheap. Um, the breeder was charging anywhere. He had male bettas, standard ones pretty much for like five bucks, but most of his uh, male bettas were running about $20 a piece. Um, I did get a double tail, half moon, um, and he did that one to me for $10, so, anyway. Peace and love.